What's up, Turtle here, and we have another Pokemon video for you. Today we're going to open up so uh, There's been some new products that released actually last Friday, this Poltegeist V box and a figure collection. We're going to be opening up the figure collection, do a quick review, and this will be in the near future. Spoiler alert, between the two, this one's much better, so I figure we'll start with this. We got two of these boxes, but a couple quick announcements. We are doing a ETB giveaway currently on the channel. Uh, check out Monday's video to make sure you enter. We will uh, pick a winner Friday, or drop a video Friday morning to say who the winner is, so good luck to you all. And uh, yeah, follow the rules in that video. And we have a very, exci very exciting mail day coming. This brick is all PSA cards you can see uh, so we're very excited to get these this wrapped or unopened and show you guys what we picked up in our latest PWCC auction cycle all right without further ado let's take a look at this product it does come with a very nice tin a cool promo and basically the promo is why I do like this product I actually did a whole video about this but um, you know I'm a huge fan of all the cool Japanese promos that we don't really get access to in English but this is kind of potentially a indication that maybe we'll begin to bridge that gap and because this is very familiar or feels very similar to the battle promos that are released in japan every year uh, and so this is the the starters figure collection box and i really do like that promo this figure is I would say better than average as far as Pokemon figures go. And then we have our typical four packs. And we'll actually get both of these open. So as far as, you know, this is the typical MSRP for $20, four packs, plus a promo, plus a figure kind of collection. But because of the, you know, better than, I would say a promo that is useful in the meta, would be a little bit better but then this is the next best thing where you just get a very cool promo all right and yeah msrp for twenty dollars if you go to game Nerds right now they still have this in stock for 25 percent off so you can pick it up for about 15. free shipping if you order 75 dollars or more in product yeah, I feel like this is a solid product, you know, a typical, yeah, I recommend you get at least one unless you're going to pick up the promo on the secondary market just to have in your collection. And pack selection is not too bad. One Cosmic Eclipse, two Rebel Clash. I guess I prefer this one, Sword and Shield. And then the random, I mean, we're out of XY, so I guess that's positive with Guardians Rising. Then here is that beautiful promo with three starters and, of course, Pikachu. Then we got the same packs again. All right, how's that look? Can't really show the figures. I guess we can show it like that. And I think we are ready to go. Let's start with these Guardians Rising packs. Hope everyone's having a good day. But yeah, reminder about the giveaway again it will close on friday morning for your chance to win a rebel clash etb all right let's see what we got stuffle and ooh, copycat mimikyu that's actually not bad pretty useful card But yeah, we got a lot of exciting content. I've been meaning to do some Pokemon episodes where we kind of talk about, you know, is the Pokemon TCG in a bubble where prices are through the roof? The, those PSA cards, you know, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, it's kind of like expanding the portfolio in a way into sets that I've just started to collect. All right, so two whiffs on, and hey, Rayquaza is kind of cool. Two whiffs on those Guardian Rising packs. Now let's move to the standard packs. Let's see, what do we want from here? Game of Cynthia is still pretty good. ADP is still pretty good. Who's Mahala is not bad. Let's see what we can do. Caitlin Cynthia, there we go. Wait, I want to do a couple videos on that. Uh, prices for things that have you picked up a couple years. Actually, I feel like that's always a statement that you can make. Like, oh, a couple years ago, that thing was like half the price. 
but uh, now feels more relevant or now feels like it happened so suddenly, you know, most likely with everything going on in the world. I do want to hit, do an episode or two on that topic. Stay tuned for Pokemon episodes. And I am toying around with the idea for our Friday video. Instead of just posting a video, maybe we'll do another live opening. And we'll do that through Twitch and YouTube. And if you do or not are following the Twitch channel, just uh, uh, twitch.tv slash I want a turtle. Okay, so far the packs of these products has not been going so well. Have yet to get a hit yet, but we are finally on to Rebel Clash. We have four stabs at pulling something good. Let's see, boss's order would be at the top of the list. And actually one last thing about these products where typically, actually no, always the best bang for the buck as far as booster packs would just be simply a booster box. But given that everything that's going on, and to be honest, there's a lot of cool cards in this set, but nothing too, you know, there's no like Charizard like they'll be in the next set. So from a collector's perspective, it's not a whole lot in this set to really chase. So these products, you know, you get a few packs, but you don't need to go too deep. You pick up your promos in case you want to add them to your collection. So I actually think there's a little bit more reason to consider these products just because, yeah, the the drive, you know, to open a lot of packs through booster boxes is less is less relevant in this set compared to previous ones. Okay, let's see. Okay, still doing very poorly. Not gonna lie, a Diggersby. Okay, we did get this Garboder. Very useful for the Toxtricity V Max. Basically, this guy will inflict poison if there's a stadium. Toxtricity will hit for 240. Wouldn't mind a Bolton, actually. We've been playing a Bolton list featuring Zero Aura, and it's been absolutely busted. All right, let's get something good, finally. Shinx, Yamask, a Beware, and Probo Pass. Oh my. Okay, we might get completely shut out here, which would be very disappointing. The promo is good, but it's not that good. All right, judging from the side look, didn't look too promising. Tool Scrapper, useful card. All right, come on, get give me something. Last pack. Scyther, ooh, all right, that was right. All right, so that was brutal. So what is something that we can open just to give us our best odds of getting something? And good old faithful hidden fates, old reliable. And actually there's something I'm curious about. I think some of these tins came from a print wave where sometimes if you don't get a shiny for the pack, it's actually lacking a reverse slot altogether. Uh, TCA did actually a video on that where he was opening a bunch of tins and it seemed to happen for like, I don't know, maybe one out of two? One out of three of his tins? I can't remember, but it's kind of interesting and I feel like Naturally, a conclusion you might jump to is like, oh, the reverse slot is missing. These are tampered with. But then you open the next pack and it has like the shiny. So I think it's just that if you didn't have a shiny to begin with, sometimes the reverse is replaced with a common. So kind of want to see if we can actually see that. Also, we need to get hit <laughs> from this opening because this has been very rough so far. Leaf Fable is a reverse weapon. Okay, so this isn't the case. Uh, we did get a reverse and I did the Patrick incorrectly. Oh, Rainbow Bird. All right. Yes, old Hidden Fates, so reliable. You need a hit. Desperate, just pull out a Hidden Fates 10 and not perfectly centered. So I don't think this is a good PSA candidate, but what a epic card. You know, as far as tag teams, legendary birds, definitely one of the more iconic ones. All right, there we go, there is our hit. <laughs> so we did not get completely shut out for the whole episode. And we still got three packs remaining. I've been saying this a lot, this set, you know, 
who knows what prices will do things are super high right now but there's a reprint that obviously happened and you know maybe we are in this bubble so maybe prices will go back down but either way this will go down as one of my favorite sets and my favorite by far to open on the channel all right i think for that last pack we can skip the commons but for this one we just have a butterfree okay reverse energy we'll take it usually i like to get two hits but we did get a rainbow so even if this one works we'll call it a success but this one didn't happen you know we do have that reverse slot no problem even when it wasn't a hit but here we go last pack and i forgot we said we're gonna skip the commons so we'll go through these really quick but uh yeah thank you all for the support on the channel and uh here we go oh we did get a shiny and it does appear to be the one with the extra texture, which is definitely my preference, although the super glossy one seems to be more rare. And we didn't get a shiny GX, but not getting a shiny GX is probably the best pull we could have hoped for. And uh, all right, we needed to go to Hidden Fates, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to enter the giveaway.